My no-bake eggnog pie recipe is easy and delicious. With a crispy, crunchy graham cracker crust and a cool and smooth filling, this dessert has all of the flavors and textures that make it perfect for the holidays. Let's go over the ingredients. To make the filling for a 9-inch graham cracker crust, you only really need three ingredients, but if you want to take it to the next level, you can add a few more. The three base ingredients are one and a quarter cups of prepared eggnog, 300 grams, I'm using store-bought, one 3.4 ounce box of instant French vanilla pudding or regular vanilla, and one nine ounce container of Cool Whip or other whip topping. If you wanna take your pie to the next level, then to the filling, I recommend adding one teaspoon of vanilla extract, one teaspoon of rum extract, a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon, an eighth of a teaspoon of nutmeg, and an eighth of a teaspoon of salt. I also think it's a good idea to sprinkle in a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon and an eighth of a teaspoon of nutmeg into the bottom of the graham cracker pie crust before you pour in the filling. So like I said, this eggnog pie is super easy. The first step is just mixing together the eggnog and instant pudding. I'm just gonna pour the eggnog into there. And the instant pudding, like I said, I recommend French vanilla because it's going to have more of that eggy flavor that you get with eggnog. But if you can't find that, regular vanilla will work just fine. Well, I'm gonna see if I can do this without getting my electric mixer. So I'm just going to stir this by hand. I know it says to use a whisk, but I'm gonna use a spoon. Once it starts to thicken up, I will bring you back. I mix for about a minute, and as you can see, the eggnog is definitely thickened by the instant pudding. Now, if you are not going to add anything else, you would fold in the Cool Whip now. But since I'm going to add in the extras, I'll do that first. The one teaspoon of vanilla extract, the one teaspoon of rum extract, which I highly recommend, the cinnamon, nutmeg, and just a bit of salt to help balance out the flavors. There, you can see everything is very well combined. And now it's time to fold in the Cool Whip. Notice I said fold and not stir in. That's because whenever you're combining two things of different densities, that eggnog and instant pudding mixture is very dense a lot denser than this airy Cool Whip, the whip topping. So instead of just stirring them together, which will probably deflate the whip topping, I am going to fold. So I'm gonna take my spatula or a spoon like this one, dig it down towards the bottom, and then just lift it up like this. So we're folding. like this. Actually, this is probably easier in a wider bowl, but that's okay. So it does take a little bit longer than normal stirring does, but like I said, it's going to help keep the whip topping from deflating. Like I said, it took a few minutes, but now everything is combined without deflating the whip topping. Like I said, it takes a few minutes, but now the eggnog is thoroughly combined with the whip topping. So now I'm gonna pour it into the graham cracker pie crust. But before I do, like I said, I'm gonna sprinkle in about a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon and an eighth of a teaspoon of nutmeg. classic Christmas flavors. 
even though I'm using a homemade graham cracker pie crust, sprinkling a little bit of cinnamon and nutmeg into the bottom of a store-bought one is really going to help. So now, like I said, I'm just going to pour this in. And then I'm going to take my spatula or spoon and just smooth it out as much as I can. And this is probably easier with the spoon. And once I'm done evening everything out, I'm going to put it into the refrigerator, covered if possible, for four hours. And then it should be ready to serve. You could let it sit longer than that, but for some reason I feel like rum extract loses a lot of flavor once it's exposed to the air, so I would not let this sit around a long time. I would eat this four to six, maybe eight hours max after making it for the best flavor. Now my pie is ready for the refrigerator. My no-bake eggnog pie is now fully chilled, so now it's time to serve. You can see I covered it with plastic. So I'm just gonna peel that back. If you have a cover for a pie, like you use a pre-made crust that has that plastic top, that's probably ideal, but you can see plastic is fine. Just make sure it's not too snug to the top so it doesn't stick. And just to top it all off, I am going to dust the top with a little bit of extra cinnamon and nutmeg. Just to, to simulate what a glass of real eggnog looks like. I would say maybe a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon and an eighth of a teaspoon of nutmeg, like what I used in the past. This pie looked and smelled amazing, so after sprinkling on the extra cinnamon and nutmeg, I cut into it and served it immediately. And when I took the first bite, I knew that my no-bake eggnog pie recipe was a big success because it was absolutely delicious. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that I like a lot of old-fashioned desserts made from scratch because I think they're more flavorful than the easy shortcut recipes. However, I have to admit that this no-bake eggnog pie recipe really surprised me because the eggnog flavor was a lot stronger than I was expecting. Even though the filling was about half Cool Whip, the egginess and sweetness of the eggnog still came through very nicely. I also thought that this pie had a good amount of cinnamon and nutmeg flavors, and best of all, I thought that they were in the perfect proportions. After making homemade eggnog and other eggnog flavored desserts here on my channel, I've learned that in my opinion, whenever you make eggnog or anything eggnog flavored, you want twice as much cinnamon as nutmeg. I use that same ratio in this dessert, and like I said, I thought it was perfect. Besides the flavor of the eggs and spices, the vanilla and rum extract were still there, but not as strong. In my experience, rum extract loses its punch after it's been added to something and exposed to air, so like I said earlier in the video, I would not let this pie sit around for too long. And now that I'm holding the first slice up to the camera, you can see just how perfectly it came out. The filling held its shape beautifully, so I was able to make nice clean slices. Although this pie tasted great, I also liked how it looked. I thought I recreated the image of a glass of eggnog with white on the bottom and the spices floating on the top absolutely perfectly in pie form. And even though most glasses of eggnog don't have a graham cracker crust at the bottom, I thought the brown of the crust complemented the brown of the cinnamon and nutmeg perfectly. I also really liked the contrast and textures. The filling was cool, smooth, and creamy, the exact texture of a cold glass of eggnog. 
and it combined absolutely perfectly with a crispy, crunchy graham cracker crust. And as you can see here, the graham cracker crust was definitely nice and thick. I made a homemade crust like I always do using the recipe here on my channel. Although you don't have to bake it, I baked it and I usually recommend baking graham cracker crusts because I've noticed that they hold their shape better when cut than no bake crusts do. And as I showed in the video, sprinkling a little bit of cinnamon and nutmeg in the bottom of the crust before pouring in the filling just takes the flavor to the next level. The only other thing I wanted to mention about this recipe is that although I stated in the video that it's a good idea to use French vanilla instant pudding, I used regular vanilla because that's all I had, but I still think that if you really want to emphasize the egg flavor of eggnog, I would go with the French vanilla. But honestly, even though this was my first time making this pie, I wouldn't change anything because I thought it was fantastic. But one day I would like to try this recipe with real rum and I would also like to try mixing in some cream cheese to turn this into a no-bake eggnog cheesecake. But like I already said, I was really pleased with how my easy no-bake eggnog pie recipe turned out. Considering that this is such a simple dessert with few ingredients, I was really impressed with the flavor, texture, and appearance. Making this one of the best desserts for Christmas or the holiday season in general, especially if you're a beginner cook. So if you make this, I know you'll like it. As always, thanks for watching. See you next time.